Number 137, the Word of Wisdom. The LDS Word of Wisdom stands as a divine guide, outlining principles of health and well-being. The Lord counseled us on what we should put into our bodies and what we should not. In the 1969 movie, Paint Your Wagon, there was a little ditty by one of the Mormon pioneers. In our lovely Deseret, we don't smoke or drink or bet. As a people, we strive to sustain from coffee, tea, tobacco, alcohol, and mind-altering substances that tend to deplete our self-control. This health code also speaks of prudence in the use of wholesome herbs, fruits, vegetables, and grains, using the flesh of animals sparingly, and eating our food with thanksgiving. The Lord gave this counsel as a principle with promises, which many of us have seen fulfilled in our lives. I have come to know that that voice of inspiration comes more as a feeling than as a sound. Young people, stay in condition to respond to inspiration. I've come to know also that a fundamental purpose of the word of wisdom has to do with revelation. From the time you are very little, we teach you to avoid tea, coffee, liquor, tobacco, narcotics, anything else that disturbs your health. If someone under the influence can hardly listen to plain talk, how can they respond to spiritual promptings that touch their most delicate feelings? As valuable as the word of wisdom is as a law of health, it may be much more valuable to you spiritually than it is physically. Rooted in faith and obedience, the word of wisdom encourages abstaining from harmful substances and adopting a lifestyle that honors the body as a sacred gift. This counsel not only promotes physical wellness, but also fosters spiritual clarity and resilience. By adhering to the word of wisdom, Latter-day Saints distinguish themselves as a people dedicated to mental clarity and a holistic well-being, setting them apart from societal norms. This divine counsel is a source of strength, blessing individuals who adhere to it with vitality and spiritual discernment. Through living by these principles, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints cultivate a unique identity grounded in obedience, health, and a profound understanding of the body as a temple. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless and keep you.